The teacher agreed most important importantly. The teacher agreed most importantly. <laughs> channel so i'm back with another story time and hello my name is Noemi. just in case if you're new welcome to my channel here i tell all kinds of stories so if you're into that please stay and subscribe to my channel and like my video if you liked this video <laughs> and thank you so much for watching so today's story i was just thinking of what story to tell and I I don't know how I came across on this story but this story is about my well I used to be in choir so my choir days and I have some crazy stories but this one that I want to start off with this story is not crazy but it is like filled with drama it's just very very dramatic so before i start i am going to be drinking throughout my video like usual so today i am again girl i've been liking wine so today we can have wine again and if you want to drink with me or anything you guys want go get them and let's get started so like I said, I am going to be talking about when I was in choir and just some drama with some girls in choir camp, okay? So I am going to start off by saying I went to two high schools. So my first high school, I actually lived in one side of El Paso and I moved to another side. And that's when I started my first high school and it was freshman and sophomore year and then I moved back and I was in another high school my junior and my senior year so this story is going to be focused on the first high school the freshman and sophomore year okay so when I started that high school I had no friends I had absolutely no one okay like I was completely new and so my thought was you know what I'm gonna join either band or choir I when I was in middle school I was in both okay so I love music and I was like I'm gonna pick either choir or band so I can make friends and I was thinking about it and I ended up choosing choir I love to sing, which is weird because I hate singing in front of people, but I love singing. <laughs> I know it's a little weird, but, you know, I love singing, so I was like, okay, I'm going to go with choir. Choir, well, I'm not saying it's hard. I'm not saying, like, it, like it's super hard. Like, it isn't, okay? So this particular choir is very demanding. They do contests, which you do have to participate for a grade. We also do after school um, the tutoring, but we also do after school practicing. So, you know, there's a lot of things you have to do in order to get a grade. And it's very strict. This teacher, I remember that she's very strict, very particular of how she teaches. And I have to admit, like, that works because the choir was really good. Well, I remember during my freshman year, the first thing she told us was that we were going to do a contest. So this contest is at the beginning of the year, and basically they give you a song, okay? They give you a song, and they tell you, here you go. Practice for about two months, and in two months we'll see you, and then we'll test you, see if you know this song. So if you do great, you get rated by seating. So the seating is from 1 to 30. 1 being the best, 30, I mean, I mean the worst, you're still there, but, 
but they do rate you from 1 to 30 and I'm not saying 30 is the worst but you know 1 is the best 1 is what you want to get okay and anyways we have to practice so we're practicing and we're practicing for this contest because it's a solo you have to do it by yourself and you have to learn this specific song and it's not the easiest song okay like they give you a hard song okay like you're like take it easy but anyways um one day our teacher tells us students we are gonna go to another high school and we're gonna practice there it's gonna be during the weekend and you guys have to go if you miss a day okay that's not good i'm deducting points from your grade and we're like, oh, okay, like, but what are we going to do? And they're like, well, we're going to practice that song for the contest. So it's going to be kind of like a camp, okay, like like a mini camp. And we're like, oh, okay, well, that's cool, you know, like, let's go. So we ended up going that weekend to another high school. And in this high school, it was really pretty, it was really nice. I remember going in to, I think it was the cafeteria. So we went into the cafeteria and there was a lot of students there from different high schools. And it all started, you know, like they all, they tell you what you're going to do during the day and practice a little bit. I think we practiced a little bit together. And then finally they tell us, okay, let's split up. So, how they split us up is by our parts. So, there's soprano, there's alto, there's tenor, and there's bass. There's other ones, but those are like the main four ones. So, everyone gets split off by their parts. And I am an alto. So, I go with the altos and we go to this classroom. In this classroom... The teacher's there and there's like other altos from other schools, from my school, and the teacher tells us, hi students, I'm so glad to be here and I we're going to start off by introducing ourselves. So please say your name and your high school and also your part. What part are you going to sing? And we're like, okay. Great, right? So one by one, people were introducing themselves. And there was one specific girl. And we're going to name her Kim. Because to me, you know, like, Kim seems like she's all that. So if it's her. <laughs> so we're going to name her Kim. So Kim stands up and she says, my name is Kim. And I go to this high school, and my part that I sing is mezzo. And mezzo is, it falls in between alto and soprano, okay? So that's what she was, but she said, she I think she was singing alto part, but she was a mezzo, okay? So anyways, <laughs> that's not important, right? Well, yeah, she introduced herself, and I looked at her, and I was like this girl is really pretty like she is blonde she looks fit you know like her body looks like she works out um and i was like oh she's a really pretty girl and like that's it you know like i was like whatever so then we started to sing so i i think they gave us like each section they had to sing so we sang in section and then the teacher she was part of that school so she knew Kim so she asked Kim can you please show us how this line is done so Kim gets up and she starts singing and girl she sings beautiful okay like I am not gonna lie she sings really pretty effortless okay like her voice was just effortless and she was just amazing so i was like damn like she's pretty good you know she's pretty like that's cool cool for her right 
And so she did it and she sang that line and, and she was like, oh my god, like everyone's like, oh, like, good job, good job, Kim. And she's like, oh, thank you, thank you, stop it. And, and like, I was like, huh, I don't know, like, yeah, she's pretty and she has a lot of talent, but como que se cree, no? Like, that was my first impressions. I didn't know her, you know, don't judge, but that's what I got. That's the vibes I got from her is creída. So I was like, no, whatever, right? So we're just going to leave it. We ended up, you know, going through the song and finally the teacher was like, okay, like class is over. Well, not class, but like camp class <laughs> is over and you guys could go and let's go to the cafeteria so we can meet up with everybody else so we can leave we're like okay so we left and i remember we were leaving that high school and i saw kim two other friends and they were like hugging kind of like that they look like borrachas <laughs> but like, like they were hugging like this and kim was singing a song and oh it was one of the songs that we got for the contest and she sang it like perfectly okay i was like damn girl like like jealous okay i'm low-key jealous because it's effortless but anyways i was like whatever you know like i just went home went back to my high school and then we went home well i think i want to say I want to say like yeah like two months later we had that contest and your girl i think the i got like 49 or not even maybe like no like 49 yeah the seat so that meant that i wasn't elected i didn't get picked okay like i i didn't fail but you know, I just didn't get picked for those chairs from 1 to 30. So I was like, oh, that sucks. So I ended up looking for my friends' names and I was like, see who made it. And a few friends made it. I remember one friend got like second chair. The other friend got third chair. They were so happy and excited. And I was like, that's good. Like, good for you. And then I saw first chair. And I look at the name and I was like, that name sounds familiar. And the name that was written down was Kim. And I was like, oh, Kim, that, that girl that we went to her high school and we did that camp thing. That's her. Oh, she got first place. And I was like, I knew it. I knew she was going to get first place. Like, she's really good. So, you know, like, that's it. They ended up doing, the people who got the chairs ended up doing their concert. So they did the concert and that's it, you know, like, fast forward to the end of the year. So at the end of the year, our teacher comes up to us and she tells us, oh, wait, wait, girl, wait, 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 I'm thirsty, wait, hold up. So then our teacher tell us, we're going to have another choir camp. And we're like, oh, cool. Is it going to be a weekend? And she's like, no, it's going to be a week. I think it was a whole week. And this choir camp was preparing us for next year's contest. So the same contest that I just talked about at the first part. Now we're getting ready for next year's contest and this camp is more intense it's a whole week and it's going to be studying specifically those songs that we need to learn so we're like yeah like i'm down where is it going to be and she tells us it's going to be in utep and if you're not from el paso utep is a big college and so we were gonna have it there we're like okay like that sounds good so finally the summer comes around and we i wake up early and i go to utep and we get there 
and we're all in the i think i don't know it was a big room okay i don't think it was a cafeteria but it was a big room and we were all there from different high schools and you know like looking around i saw a familiar face and i saw kim so kim was there and she was a junior last year so she was going to be a senior this year her last year before she graduated and i saw her there and i was like oh like cool she's here right so that's it like the teacher started to tell us what we're going to do during the week tells us that we're going to have a concert at the end of this week and all these things okay introductions and all of these things so then she tells us now we're gonna split up by parts so like i mentioned there's alto soprano tenor and bass so we all split it by parts and of course who was in my part kim because she was doing alto i believe she's doing alto too this time so she was still in my part and she was in my class okay so she the teacher started writing on the board and she started teaching us this song and singing and the notes and all these things and then she tells us at the end i think we we're almost gonna go to either lunch or leave but she tells us this choir camp we like to put up a little show before we end the whole week. So we have a whole week to prepare a show. Each part is gonna have their own little show to show to everybody else. And we're like, oh really? And honestly, it was my first time. So girl, I was excited, okay? Like, I was like, that's cool. Like we could do so much stuff. Like, you know, like I was thinking like high school musical, something like that, but no girl, Kim raises her hand and she's like hello well and then the teacher says yes and then kim said you know what these shows are overrated i don't like them i think it's a waste of time and we can use that time to study the song and the teacher of course she's gonna be like i agree with you a hundred percent you're right so they started gathering ideas on like they're not gonna do a show okay so the whole point was they're not doing a show but we're gonna trick everybody else in thinking that we're gonna do a show and it's gonna be really big very spectacular and there's gonna be fireworks and dancers <laughs> and you know like we're gonna do like a prank i guess and we're gonna wear dresses and look fancy and then we're gonna walk out and stand and position ourselves like we're gonna do something and then we're just gonna leave the stage and sit down and do nothing and i was like what and I, she's she's like yeah that's what we're gonna do um, I think the shows are overrated and we're just not gonna do it. We're gonna boycott it. And I was like, what? Like, makes no sense, but okay. All right. So, everybody agreed. I didn't agree, but everybody else agreed. The teacher agreed, most importantly. So, of course, we were gonna do that. So I talked to my other friends, and my other friends are not altos. Not everybody's an alto, so some of them are sopranos, and I asked them, like, hey, are you going to do shows? And she's like, yeah, like, we are planning ours, and we have to actually go because we have to practice it right now. And I was like, oh, really? And she's like, yeah, how about you guys? And I was like, mm, yeah, we're doing a show. And then she looks at me, she's like, what? I was like, yeah, kind of, I guess, you'll see. And she's like, okay, she's like, well, good luck, and that's it, you know, she leaves. She had to practice her show. So at the end of this week, finally, it comes, and it's time for the shows. 
So, you know, like we put on our dress, we look all pretty and fancy, and we, we get ready, and then we go to the big room cafeteria thing, and we sit down, and we wait for our turn. So first up was The Sopranos, and they did a very cute little show. It was just them standing and singing, and it was really cute. And then it was our turn, <laughs> and we did our thing. I explained it, you know, like we went up there, we just stood there, and then we just left, and everybody was like, huh, what did you guys do? Like, you guys are stupid. <laughs> but anyways... We did that, and then it was the tenors' turn. I think it was the tenors. Yeah, the tenors. So the tenors come up, and I don't know if you remember, but this used to be really big in, I don't know if in YouTube, I think, or like in in some in something that they used to do like like if they're McDonald's, but then they start singing, okay, while they're like cleaning and like cooking and like stuff like that so that's what the boys did they did like this mcdonald's high school musical sort of thing and you know they were singing it was just the guys and then all of a sudden someone walks out and guess who it is it's miss kim okay she walks out and she's one of the customers and she's Start singing with the guy and she is part of the show okay <sighs> why am I so bad <laughs> I was like I saw her and I was like you kidding me you literally said these shows are overrated and we should have more time to study study and you know like we shouldn't do it that's why she convinced everybody to not do it. But yet, she is helping out the tenors with their show. You know, like, I don't know if I'm crazy, but I was like, well, like, at first, pensé que eras creída, but, like, now, I really don't like you. Like, I'm sorry. I was like, damn, you do us like that? Like, your own parts? Like, ow. You know, like, that hurts. So, it was like, we were all mad. It wasn't just me, okay? All of the altos got together, and we were pissed. We started talking. I'm sorry. We started talking bad about her. And, yeah, girl, like, we did not like her. So, after that, I didn't see her again. I'm trying to remember if I saw her, but no. All I know is that at the end of the camp, that's it. I didn't see her again. I don't know well, like her life, what she's doing, if she's singing still or or not. But I guess with this story, I just want to say like, girl, like there's no reason to be greater like that. You know, like if you have a talent, that's it. You know, just have that talent and just be a nice person like don't betray people or manipulate people like that like it's not good okay it's not good so i guess i'm a little butthurt and yes i am okay because because she betrayed us okay but it's fine anyways i hope you guys enjoy this video i have plenty of other stories to tell so i hope you guys stay i hope you guys like this video and please subscribe if you like my videos and if you're watching them grow like subscribe <laughs> so thank you so much for watching and bye